Yo, 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 what is going on, real lovers? This is your man, Jay Emanuel, back with a new episode. And today, y'all can see I'm joined by a very special guest. My girl, Kane, is in the building. What's going on, Kane? Hey, man. How are you? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. Super excited to have you on the show because, as you know, we get emails over here in the real love community. And I had one come in from a young lady and she wants to get our insight on long distance relationships. So you ready to dive into this today? Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, so let me let me get my phone. Let me pull it up real quick. All right. Here we go. So this is coming in from a real lover by the name of Kim G. This is what she said. I met a great guy during a vacation to Miami with my friends. I live in Atlanta and he lives in Orlando, but we've been talking on the phone and FaceTiming since we met. I really like him, but I don't know if I should enter into a long distance relationship or not. Do you think I should give long distance a shot? So that's essentially what Kim wants to know. But before we get too deep in it, I just want to get your thoughts. What is your take on, you know, Kim going to Miami, meeting a little Orlando boo, going back to Atlanta, and now she's like, yo, should we make it official? I mean, it sounds fun. It sounds right. like we had an incredible time. But yeah. I think the first thing is that's tough. You know, relationships mm -hmm. as a whole is tough. And so right. when we throw in the long distance component, that adds mm -hmm. a whole nother different dimension to it. But it's not impossible. I think right. that it is possible. But first and foremost, you have to understand your goals mm -hmm. and you have to understand your personal needs and start from there first. So That's what right. is the plan? What's the plan? <laughs> that right there. <laughs> what is the plan? With anything, you need a plan. But I say even more so when it's a long distance relationship, right? Mm hmm. So many more dynamics. But before we dive into those dynamics, I want to get your personal take. Like, I know people tend to be on one side of the spectrum or the other. They either are like totally against long distance relationships or they're like, oh, yeah, they could work. Right. What's your take? So let me actually say that because I think you went out for a minute. I'm going to re I'm going to re say that question. Is that OK? OK. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. So. Before we dive into all of that, I want to get your personal take on it. I know people tend to be on one side or the other when it comes to relationship or long distance relationships. They either are totally against them or they're fans of them. What are you, Kane? <laughs> Personally, for Personally. for myself, yes. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. <laughs> why I'm is that? Why, why aren't you a fan, Kane? <laughs> Because I need that physical here mm. with me. You know, I need that person, that bond right here with me. But, you know, I don't know. I can't say, you know, I've been married forever for 34 years. So nice. I can't say if I was out in the dating scene that mm. I would be totally against it. But because mm. I'm so open and transparent and believe in being real with yourself yes. in the relationship and the person, mm. I think with good communication, transparency, truth with mm. yourself, in mm. truth with the person that it yes. can work. Okay. Yeah. But for me personally, I, I don't know. I, I you know, I've, it's been a long time since I've been <laughs> Yo, I hear you. I, I, that, that I've been out there. But mm -hmm. I think that if she first what we said earlier, what mm -hmm. is the plan? Right. So do you have a goal of being married with this person? Mm -hmm. Do it have a long term goal of having kids? How do mm -hmm. they feel about that? Right. How do they feel about that? Mm -hmm. um, who's going to see who? How often are you guys going to see each other? Right. Are you going to see each other multiple times a year or only a few times a year? And then you have a financial aspect with that. So who's going to pay for these trips going back? Right. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to pay for these trips going back and forth? And how often? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So those are some real, um, some serious, real conversations. And then I think that there has to be some expectation of how often do you feel like you need to talk to that person? Right. Right. Um, is do you need to talk to that person every day or are they OK with speaking every day? Um, do you plan on moving to the same city? When? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo. <laughs> then, am I moving questions. to you? Am I moving right. to you or are you moving to me? Or are we moving someplace mm -hmm. else? Yeah. So it seems like that, that I would have questions about, you know. I agree. Yeah. And, you know, long distance relationships, I, I would say it's been a long time since I've been in one, like a very long time. And I'm not totally against them. I feel like you mentioned with the right plan, you got two mature individuals, they're fully committed to one another and they understand the work in addition to just a regular relationship yes. that's going to be required to make yes. that long distance relationship work. 
then I think it can work. This is the one thing that I will say, though. I think it's very important to have a timeline. I think a lot of people jump into long distance relationship and there is no end date. I think that is one of the ways that people run into issues with long distance. So I personally would say to Kim and to anybody else out there that's considering a long distance, I personally would say don't do it unless there is an end date on the table. Now, that's not to say that it may be or can't be negotiated at some point, but don't enter into a perpetual long distance relationship where you don't know when it's going to come to an end. That's my take. What do do you think about that? I 100% agree with that. It (laughs) has to be. It has to be an end date. So, So what are we going to do? Are we just going to do this forever? Right. You know, or when... And when that, when is that end date? So say mm-hmm. if one party, we can't come together for another six years. Are you okay mm-hmm. with? <laughs> Yo, yeah, my, my reaction to that was that let, let you know what I thought about that. Like, man, six years, that's a long time to be long <laughs> that distance. Is, that's a long <laughs> time to be long distance. And so you're thinking like, okay, uh, what is the plan? And I think that that's where people go wrong. There is no plan. Right. And if you plan to fail, <laughs> Hey, what is it? Plan to fail. If you fail to plan, plan to fail. You know, mm-hmm. it's one of those things. But I think with enough effort that it could, could potentially work. But I, um, you also have to be extremely creative with this mm-hmm. type of dynamic. Mm-hmm. Really creative. Yes. And when I say that, I think that you could still have amazing intimacy. I think you can have all kinds of joy with each other. But yeah. you're going to have to employ all of those all of the technology. Now, mm-hmm. back in my day, when I was in a, a, a long distance relationship, it wasn't even cell phones or free long distance. Mm-hmm. So I hated it. I think that I might be jaded because of that. <laughs> Yo, that's real. <laughs> there was no FaceTime. There was yeah. none of those things. But now we're in an environment where you have the technology. You can mm-hmm. even interact with each other being in a whole nother country. You can play right. games with each other. They have interactive apps. Have, um, mm-hmm. apps. have you seen those synchronized apps where you can watch TV, TV together? Yeah, or yeah watch like watch together? parties. Yeah. Yes. You can have a watch party together. So there's all kinds of ways mm-hmm. that this could work. You can even have sex. You can even have sex virtually, <laughs> which I think is a huge component. People don't want to mm-hmm. talk about it, but it right. is a huge component because you're going to need that physical intimacy, that emotional intimacy. You're going to need all of those things. Yeah. But without an end date or knowing if we're going <laughs> to, are we getting married? Are we not getting married? Right. And another, uh, here's another component too. Mm-hmm. What is the, um, uh, what is our relationship? Is this a monogamous relationship? That. <laughs> right there. You you you, you got to make sure that's clear. <laughs> Crystal. Clear. Crystal clear. Crystal and, clear. <laughs> yeah. And what does cheating look like for you? Right. Cuz some people think the slightest thing is cheating, mm-hmm. you know? So mm-hmm. what does cheating look like? If if you're hanging out with your girlfriends or he's hanging out with his friends or he comes home at 4 or 5 in the morning and didn't call you, are you upset? Right. <laughs> is that cheating? You know, I don't know. So those, those are, are real conversations. Questions. Oh, yeah. They're real <laughs> conversations that need to happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh and God. I think what's really important, especially given the way Kim and this guy met, is make sure you're kind of past like that, that early stage of everything is just all good. And make sure you really know who this guy is. <laughs> like, like and, and I would even go as far as to say, even before that, make sure you know yourself. One of the things that you had mentioned earlier, Kane, that really stood out to me, you know, people talk about love languages all the time, one of them being physical touch. And you mentioned mm-hmm. like, if this woman, Kim, or anybody else out there that's considering long distance, if one of your love languages is physical touch, how are you going to manage that being in a relationship? Yes. Yes. And that, that goes back to kind of what I spoke about earlier when I said mm-hmm. being honest with yourself. Yes. Because sometimes we like to lie to ourselves and pretend. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we go wrong. But, mm-hmm. you know, if you are honest with yourself and feel like I'm going to need that physical touch, mm-hmm. but maybe it's a situation where you're going to see each other once a month and you're yeah. able to handle that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that that's where the conversation needs to be. Are we going to see each other once a year, once every two years, every other month? That's a complete, each one of those offer mm-hmm. different dynamics they on do. how much a person can handle and not handle. Right. Yeah. You know, so, 
Yeah, and, and to your other point, right, is what is the ultimate goal of that relationship? Like, is it marriage? And I mean, I would even frame it this way. If it's not marriage, is it really worth entering into a long distance relationship just to be in a relationship? Exactly. You can have a friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can be my best friend from Miami. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> And, you know, that's one of the things that, that came to my mind, and would love to get your take on it, Kane, is I know the young lady says she in Atlanta, and I know there's different opinions about the dating scene in Atlanta. You know, all of that, yeah. you know, to the side. What do you think will make a woman say, hey, I'm going to forego meeting any guys in the city or state that I'm in to commit myself to a relationship with a guy in a completely different state. And I mean, let's be clear, you know, Florida and Georgia, they right next to each other, but that's still some distance. <laughs> I think it really goes back to what you just said. I mean, the reality is there's been tons of conversation around the dating pool um, yeah. in Atlanta. And I think that that's really not just Atlanta. I think that that's everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I've had followers and different people add me to groups and I'm flabbergasted at the dating mm -hmm. scene right now. I'm like, yeah. wow, I'm, I'm, it, it's very different. So in order for you to meet your need, mm -hmm. to meet your um, the things that you may have on your must-have list, mm -hmm. it might require you to go outside of your current environment. And that's real, the way it is now. Um, it also, um, I think it depends on what you're willing to sacrifice too. Mm -hmm. Some of us have a very clear definition on what we want in a partner. And that partner right. might not be next door. So that's real. If the person is willing to do the work, if both people are do, willing to do the work, mm -hmm. and there's an end goal, an end date, yeah, <laughs> we've got at it. We've earned out what exactly this looks like in our expectations. In that mm -hmm. instance, I would say, you know, go for it. Yeah. And I just think that the pickings are said. At least I've been. I ha I do <laughs> mainly relationships coaching mm -hmm. where people are already in the relationship and how right. to maintain it. However, I, I'm told time and time again about the dating pool, it, mm -hmm. that it's very, very difficult to find someone who you feel will is equal to you. Right, right. So with that in mind, since you are the relationship coach, right, let's kind of look at it from the lens of you know, let's say Kim has already made her decision before our episode airs and they're in a relationship. <laughs> you know, you in it now, Kim. What mm -hmm. would you say to her now, Kane? Like, what does she need to know in order to make it work? <laughs> okay. First of all, you touched on this a little bit about when you first get with someone, you have that feel good hormones year release. Mm -hmm. So everything they do is cute. I mean, oh, you just can't get enough of them. <laughs> and then you're not with them. So it just, it, exaggerates it even more they're just so mm -hmm. perfect but when you're with them especially once y'all in the same house again <laughs> right <laughs> you know from six to 24 months is when we have that release of feel-good hormones and then mm -hmm. after that time is when real life sets in that's when real responsibility sets in and that's when the real work comes in mm -hmm. okay and what was so, that what was that length again six to what it, Six to 24 months. It just depends wow, on the relationship. Months. That, that's a yes. whole two years. It can last yes. that long for some people. It, for some people, it can last that long. Oh. But for some people, it only lasts six. It may last 18 months. And then mm -hmm. after that time is when you can you have to put that work in. And mm -hmm. so whatever it took for you guys to come together, whatever you enjoyed about each other, you have mm -hmm. to maintain that. So you have to continue the date. So if she is in this long distance relationship, I would suggest, Continue to date each other. Mm -hmm. I would say be creative, have date nights. Yeah. I would say when you're out with the, like if she's out at a, or out and about and he's out and about, I would have pictures so that person can be, you know, yeah. and see, be with me. Right. I would um, do celebrations. If there's anniversaries from the day that they met when they were vacationing, mm -hmm. that's a celebration for them. Maybe they can celebrate virtually or that's a day that they can meet each right. other. They can send each other care packages. Like mm -hmm. I call it remember me. So mm -hmm. maybe send something with the scent that I was wearing the day that you last saw me. Okay. And I was <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you dropping gems right now, okay? They better be so, taking <laughs> And then 
send that in a package to to your partner so they can smell, you know, because mm-hmm. that's a sense and it's a real thing, you know, yes. to be able to smell that, to be able to smell that person. Take walks together when you're on mm-hmm. FaceTime, mm-hmm. you know. We just talked about that you can watch movies together. Right. You could send a DoorDash, a meal to the person, have dinner together like we're doing, where we're yeah. looking at each other. So there's things um, that you can do mm-hmm. when when you see each other. Yeah. Leave notes inside of the suitcase. So then mm-hmm. when they unpack, they see these notes from you. So it's going to take some effort and create. <laughs> right. <laughs> <to kind of laughs> To keep that spark, but these are little things that I think that mm-hmm. are good for most relationships, just in general, because right. you you continue to date each other. Mm-hmm. But especially in a long time right. relationship, Facts. And, and then the thing is, what about sex? What about the mm-hmm. physical piece? Yeah, what That's about real. the physical? Piece? Are you okay with having phone sex? Phone mm-hmm. sex could be amazing now, especially with these zooms. They now have. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a toy next week. Mm. where it's a remote Mm -hmm. so uh, her partner can control this remote from anywhere in the country oh wow yes and so (laughs) (laughs) yeah they can have some fun fun (laughs) they can have some fun fun, okay (laughs) or it they have some that will mimic like oral Mm. stimulation and they have some where it would it could cover the genital area Mm -hmm. and so the person on the other end can control it Wow. And then, like, say, for instance, if it's me, I can mm-hmm. set my favorite setting mm-hmm. and then my partner can adjust it to that favorite setting. They mm-hmm. can turn it up. They can do mm-hmm. all kinds of things. And then they're list- and then they're speaking to you over the phone. Right. So you have that auditory going. You got the mm-hmm. physical going. You got the visual going. So right. you can have some now. Nah, look, now. Nah, <laughs> <you can have. laughs> Yo, adult time. Don't, 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 look, <laughs> grown, folks, get- <laughs> grown folks business. <laughs> Do not get me going. Look. <laughs> yo, yo, that's real though. That those are mm-hmm. great, great suggestions. And I'm curious, you know, as a woman, what are some things that you would say a woman needs from a man when she's in a long distance relationship? Attention. Mm. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> we want to know that we're on your mind. We want to mm. know that you're thinking about us. We want to get those texts throughout the day that says, hey, I'm thinking about you. We want to get those good morning texts. And that's mm-hmm. what I mean by what I said earlier about those expectations. Mm-hmm. We want to talk to a lot of us might want to talk to you every day. Is yeah. the person you went okay, talk, okay with talking every day? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So there are, there are all kinds of things that we need. Right. <laughs> that we need. <laughs> but we all are different, too. Mm-hmm. Jay, we mm-hmm. all are different. And that's why it's important to articulate your needs yes. to the person that you're with. Right. You know, so. so let's talk about another aspect of long distance, too, which is like when things aren't going well, like you get the arguments, you get, you know, kind of thing. Y'all, y'all not y'all not feeling each other in the moment. You know, like how do you maintain a relationship despite things being a little bit rocky? The same way you do in person. <laughs> the same way you do it perfect. <laughs> and what that involves is that involves open communication. That involves mm-hmm. us putting our egos aside and taking the time to really hear what your partner mm-hmm. is saying. A lot of times we go wrong because we we enter arguments with you statements like you did this, you make me do, you did this, you did, which is very accusatory. It mm-hmm. can put a person on the defensive. OK, mm-hmm. and what you want to do when you're arguing, you want to go to the person and say, hey, I feel like this mm-hmm. when this happened or when you said this or when you didn't call me for two days I felt like that I was no longer important to you anymore mm-hmm. okay That's when good. I told you that it was my birthday and I was hoping that you came out I felt bad when you didn't you chose to go with your friends instead mm-hmm. of coming to my Orlando wherever she is you yeah. know so you want to use I statements also mm-hmm. when you're in an argument with someone Sometimes it's good to do like a feel good sandwich. And mm-hmm. what that means is you say something positive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you put your complaint <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> so that's the bottom bun, right? Yeah. And so the meat is what your complaint is. And right. then the top bun is where you close with still something loving. Okay. And a lot of times people don't realize it's not always what you say is 
how you say mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And that involves your body language too. So mm-hmm. if you are over the top or if I'm trying to speak to you and you looking over yeah. here mm-hmm. or you're not paying attention, all of that plays within the argument. But yeah. when at any time that we are having fights and things like that, we mm-hmm. have to start with communication. Yeah. And we have to identify what the problem is and be real. See, a lot of people don't understand that when they're in a relationship, a relationship mm-hmm. is a threesome. It's always mm-hmm. a threesome. And what I mean by that is, is, is one party is the mm-hmm. other party and it's the relationship. Mm-hmm. All three yeah. things have to be nurtured. Yeah. Okay. It's not mm-hmm. just you and him. Okay. Right. And the same way you got the person, you got to do those things. To keep the person. That's facts. <laughs> Yo, you got to, you got to continue to work at it, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. have to. So there's this thing that, um, well, no, I, I'm gonna ask this question instead. So some people believe in what they call like relationship rules. Like, what's your take on that? Do you feel like having rules surrounding or bordering that? long distance relationship are healthy or they're not so much needed? Well, I guess I would have to understand rules. Like mm-hmm. what do you mean boundaries or do you mean? Yes. Yes. So rules? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some people call them rules. Some people call them boundaries. Like, but yeah, it's essentially just saying it's like a mutual agreement. Like let's say, for example, they agree that we're not going to do silent treatment with one another. Where, you know, like we get in an argument and now when I call you, you don't answer. When I text you, you don't respond back. That could be like a relationship rule, agreement or boundary. Like what's your takes on on like having those type of things? I, I think that that's beautiful, actually. Mm-hmm. I think that especially in this this type of arrangement, mm-hmm. I think it's going to be needed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be needed because I can't necessarily drive to your house. I might, right. but you know. <laughs> yo, but, somebody might pull up. Yo, yo, you got somebody up. like, yo, they, yo, don't don't let them drive all the way to Georgia, uh, to Florida. Yo, that's a that's a pull up, pull up. You better be home. <laughs> but I think that it's important to have boundaries in relationships or even even rules. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll share something personal. For me, like one rule Mm -hmm. in my relationship, like I'm the type of person I don't like to argue. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And so when I feel like I'm being flooded or Mm -hmm. I've had enough, when I Mm -hmm. say I need a break for a Mm -hmm. second, Mm -hmm. I need you to walk away. And Mm -hmm. so now it took my husband time to understand that. But now Mm -hmm. he understands when I said, hold on, you Mm -hmm. know, he understands that, okay, let me leave her her alone for a second Mm -hmm. and give her a a second to get her bearings back. Right. And then I'll come back. And sometimes mm-hmm. I can get angry and it may be the next day. It mm-hmm. may be two days from there. <laughs> but the rule is, is that we will always come back to that conversation. It won't be okay. that it's swept under the rug. Okay. But sometimes you can get so upset. It's mm-hmm. counterproductive to have a mm-hmm. conversation at that juncture. So that is a right. rule of our, mm-hmm. our, our relationship. So mm-hmm. I think that that's, I think the rules could be shaped around who each person is. Mm-hmm. You know, if you know your partner, like say as a person like me who don't like to argue mm-hmm. and know their mouth that they have to mm-hmm. be quiet. Cause they're yeah. gonna... <laughs> 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 you know, right. that goes back to knowing yourself. If there's mm-hmm. a situation where a person is say five o'clock is the curfew. Mm-hmm. Some people have that or, it might not be five, it might be one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But sometimes people may have curfews and that's something that has to be agreed upon. But I think it's a fine line between mm-hmm. mutual respect and trying to control a person. Right, right. Yeah, definitely want to be on alert. Don't want to be controlled in any form mm-hmm. or fashion. But um, yes. yeah, I feel like you have dropped some major gems, help Kim and the other real lovers out there who may be considering or already in a long distance, you you helping them out. But with that being said, I want to pass it over to you. Are there any last or closing words that you want to leave them with when it comes to relationships and long distance ones on top of that? <laughs> yes. First and foremost, please be honest with yourself and please be honest with your partner and please be honest, honest with what you need. Mm-hmm. Communication is the foundation. Communication is lubrication. So communication <laughs> is the foundation. <laughs> That's new. I ain't never heard that before. That's a good one. <laughs> communication is the foundation of our relationship. And mm-hmm. that's how you, your mouth is how you get what you want. Okay. And so I think that just keep that in mind. 
keep creativity and mutual respect and you'll be okay. I love but that. make sure, make sure, Kim, make sure if you haven't had the conversation with this person yet, make sure you understand what the end goal is. Yes. So important. And if they are in a relationship and they want to work with you, learn more about the services you provide, how can they get in contact with you and show you some love? Yes. They can visit my website at www.romanticdiscovery.com. Or please visit me on Instagram. I drop a lot of gems on Instagram at Kane the Coach. And that is Kane, C A I N, the Coach. <laughs> Perfect. You guys definitely make sure y'all show Kane some love. Kim, I appreciate you for sending in this question. And yo, Kane, it was an honor speaking with you. If you're ever interested, it will be a joy to have another great conversation with you. Yes. But thank you so much for everything that you share with us today. I truly appreciate you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Jay. Of course. Yo, it was an honor. <laughs> <laughs>